In today's video, we're going to understand one of the most important rules of thumb in investing, the rule of 72. Hi, if you're new to the channel, my name is Tay from Financial Tortoise, where we learn to grow our wealth slow and steady. In my personal opinion, the rule of 72 is one of the most useful formulas to understand when it comes to managing your investments. So I wanna help you understand how this rule works and we'll also review several use case scenarios so you can start applying it to your own investing journey. So first, what is the rule of 72? Simply, the rule of 72 enables us to estimate how long it will take to double our money given a certain interest rate. The higher the interest rate, the faster we can double our initial investment. Lower the interest rate, doubling our money takes a little bit longer. Here's how it works. We divide our expected rate of return on our investments into 72. The result is an estimate of how many years it will take for us to double our initial investment. For example, if we earn 8% annual interest on the investment, it will take us about 9 years to double our money. 72 divided by 8 equals 9. If we earn 10% interest rate on our investment, the time to double our money shrinks to about 7 years. 72 divided by 10 equals 7.2. This simple rule of thumb allows us to easily calculate the impact of a rate of return or an interest rate on our money, literally on the back of an envelope. Now, a limit to this rule of 72 is that it doesn't account for additional investments. It assumes you invest one lump of sum of money at the start. However, it still gives us a glimpse into the power of compounding. Because in this example that we just went over, a difference between 8% and 10% may not seem like much. But when we put in the perspective of doubling our money in 7 years versus 9 years, we quickly see the scale of its impact. And when you multiply this impact over many decades, the difference grows exponentially. For example, let's take a 30-year period. In a 30-year period, an initial investment will double approximately three times at a 8% rate of return, once every nine years. But with a 10% return, the investment will have doubled approximately four times, once every 7.2 years. Initial investment of $10,000 at an 8% return will have grown to approximately $100,000. However, the same investment of $10,000 at 10% return will have grown to approximately $175,000. Again, the difference between 8 and 10% on the surface may not seem like much, but when we apply the rule of 72 to it, we see that 2% makes a lot of difference. All right, now that we have a good general understanding of the rule of 72, let's see it in action in a few use case scenarios. The first use case scenario where the rule of 72 is most useful is when we're trying to understand the time impact of an estimated rate of return. When you have an average rate of return and a current balance of your investment, you can use the rule of 72 to see what your money will be in the near future. For example, let's say that you have $200,000 in investments today. And let's say that you're estimating approximately 10% rate of return on your investment for the foreseeable future. Bit high, but not undoable when we look at the market returns for the past 30 years. And let's say that you're 20 years from retirement when you want to access your money. As we calculated earlier, at a 10% rate of return, your money will double approximately every 7.2 years. Which means that in 7 years, your investment will have doubled to $400,000, in 14 years, to $800,000, and in 21 years, to $1.6 million. Not a bad amount for your retirement nest egg, given you're starting out with only $200,000, and in this scenario, you didn't contribute any more money to your investment. Of course, this is a very simplistic calculation because we're not incorporating inflation, change in rate of return, or any additional contribution. However, the purpose of the rule of 72 is to give us a general sense of the future, not an accurate forecast. If you need more money because of inflation, or your interest rate changes due to your risk tolerance, you can quickly use the rule of 72 to estimate how long it will take to get to your goal. All right, a second good use case for the rule of 72 is to evaluate risk and reward choices. For example, let's say that you're risk averse and you're thinking about putting all your money in an investment that yields an average rate of return of 3%, maybe a well-diversified bond index fund. When we apply the 3% to the rule of 72, 72 divided by 3, it will take us approximately 24 years before our investment will double in value. Compare that to an investment that will yield a 10% rate of return, which will double every 7.2 years. The 3% investment will take 3 times longer to double than an investment that could yield a 10% rate of return. This is where as an investor, you can use the rule of 72 to decide if the risk level you're taking is in alignment with the reward you want to receive. Is 24 years too long for your investment to double? Or is that enough for you to retire on? If not, do you need to take additional risks? In your 20s or 30s, it's advisable to take bigger risks in your investments because opportunity to take advantage of high rates of return for multiple doubling cycles. Yes, there are risks associated with high rate of return such as market dips and downturns. However, you have time on your side and you have the ability to ride all the ups and downs of the market in order to take advantage of the higher risk and higher rate of return. However, if you're nearing retirement, you might want to offer lower risk investments such as bonds. Because at this stage in your life, doubling your money is less important than keeping your money. 
Regardless, the rule of 72 is a quick and dirty method to assess the result of your risk tolerance. If you're starting out with a small nest egg and have time on your side, you have the ability to take more risk and thus a higher rate of return. If you have a sizable nest egg and you're more concerned about protecting it, take less risk because you don't need your money to double every few years. The number three useful case for the rule of 72 is to evaluate the impact of cost to your investments. If you watch any of my other videos, you know I detest high investment expenses. But often it's hard to assess its detrimental impact. But the rule of 72 can quickly show us how damaging even a 1% additional expense could be to our portfolio. Let's say that we hired a fancy investment manager to manage our money and he or she charges 1% to manage our money for us. This means that when our investment portfolio has a 10% rate of return, in actuality, we only get to keep 9 cents of every dollar we earned because we pay the investment manager 1 cent to manage our money. Now, you might be thinking that 1% and that 1 cent doesn't sound like much. However, when we apply the rule of 72, it's actually quite tremendous. Let's say that we start out with a $200,000 investment. If our investment was invested in rock bottom funds like solid low cost index funds, such as Vanguard's total stock market index fund, our expenses are essentially zero compared to a 1% expense ratio. Vanguard's total stock market index fund charges an expense ratio of 0.04%. At a 10% rate of return, it would take about 29 years for our money to double four times. At which point our original investment of $200,000 would be close to $3.2 million. But if we had given the 1% to a fund manager, effectively making our rate of return 9%, how long do you think it will take to get the same $3.2 million? 32 years. 3 additional years. And with time, the gap grows bigger. The rate of return on our investment is crucial. And seemingly small changes like a 1% investment manager fee can have a huge life-changing impact on our future if we don't watch our costs carefully. The fourth useful case for the rule of 72 is to evaluate the impact of inflation. Inflation is a rate that the cost of products and services increase over time, essentially lowering the value of the money that we have today. I remember watching Jurassic Park, the original one in theaters in 1993. I was in elementary school and it was one of the coolest experiences of my life. My friend's dad was kind enough to pay for our tickets, and I distinctly remember it costing $3 per kid. And for a third grader with no money, $3 was a lot of money. Fast forward to today, the latest Jurassic Park movie, The Jurassic World Dominion. If we were to watch this in the theaters, it would cost us more than $10 per person. In a period of 30 years, the movie ticket prices have tripled in cost. And this is what is called inflation. At the time of this video, the latest rate of inflation is around 8% nationally. But what does this mean for us in the long run? We can use the rule of 72 to see how many years it will take to cut in half our purchasing power due to inflation. For example, when inflation is around 8%, we can divide 72 by the rate of inflation to get 9 years until the purchasing power of our money is reduced by 50%. With this quick formula, we can evaluate the severity of the inflation rate. The hope is that inflation doesn't remain elevated for an extended period of time, but it is good to know how it can really impact the value of our current dollars. The rule of 72 is an important guideline to keep in our mind when considering how much to invest. Investing in a small amount can make a big impact if you start early, and the effect can only increase the more you invest, as the power of compounding works its magic. And as you saw earlier, you can also use the rule of 72 to assess how quickly you can lose your purchasing power during periods of inflation. Thank you guys for watching, and if you'd like to learn more about the impact of inflation and how we can best manage it, check out my video here. Until next time, all the best.